In this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to reveal with masks in After Effects. You can download this project file in the description down below. Making a new tutorial for each day of the year. Day 69 of 365. I'm gonna import my logo here. I'm gonna adjust the scale. And we have to make a mask for this layer. So we can make a reveal animation. To make a mask we have a lot of options. One option is with the pen tool. If we grab the pen tool we can just simply drag the mask we want and we can make it any shape we want the other options are with the shapes so you can select here the rectangle shape if you want you can make this a square by holding shift and now it's a square and you have another shapes here the lips tool you can make a circle by holding shift and by holding control you can make this grow from the center and with shift it will be a circle so now to make this simple select the rectangle tool and let's make a rectangle covering our logo you can move this individual points press g to move this or you can select the selection tool with p and to move this you will see we move the entire mask so we have to deselect this because now they are all the points selected so to deselect one point hold shift and click and now you will see it will not have fill anymore so now we can drag and move this individually or if we grab this line we can move these two points at the same time i'm gonna move this here now i'm gonna grab this and move it like here also move this here okay we can animate this mask if you open your layer you have these mask properties if you open it you will have your mask if you open your mask you have these properties to change the mask so you can increase or decrease a feather so I'm gonna do that right now so if we increase the feather you will see the edge are like smoother for now I'm gonna set this to zero and the mask expansion move this and you will see what it does it's basically how big or small is the mask leave that as normal we are going to change just the mask path so make a keyframe here for the mask path and now if we move forward in the timeline and change the mask path you will see if i grab this and move it like here and also move this here you will see it will automatically animate there you have it to make a quick reveal from the bottom to the top let's grab this first keyframe we made and let's move this forward because this will be the keyframe it will end the animation so it will end here and it will start we can also move this whole mask in another way if we double click in any mask point you will see now we have this like white grid and we can move this like this like a transform and we can squish this we can make it bigger smaller so i'm gonna make this really small like here and we can also move this whole mask by holding shift you keep it in line and now we have this animation so we can improve this animation First, let's grab both keyframes and assist them with F9. Okay, now we have this, it's a little smoother, but at the end we want to have like a slowdown. So grab the last keyframe, go to the graph editor, and you will have this handle that you can move on one side or another side. We are going to move this to this side and we will have this speed curve. What this means, from this point it will start really slow. As you see here the graph is really low and here at its peak it will be the fastest. So in this point it will move 4 units per second and then it will slow down. So here it will move 0 0.1 units per second. And now let's preview the animation and you can see this is better to make this even better we can enable the motion blur so you can see here these three circles if you don't see that you have to press here in toggle switches until you see this and make sure this icon is enabled so now you can see here it have like a little blur a motion blur also make this animation faster by moving the keyframes close together and we have this descent reveal 
We can also make this mask work in the other way around if we click here this inverted option and now what this does is whatever is outside the mask is visible I am referring to this layer because this mask is applied to this layer and when the mask touch the logo it will disappear you can see it there until it covers the logo completely so this could be like a disappear you can select this option invert or you can just select here instead of add subtract so that means everything inside this mask it will be subtracted we can also make another mask in the same layer so now let's grab the pen tool with G and let's drag a small mask like this inside this other mask we can move it however we want and as you see because this mask is in subtract and this to add we can still see this part because of this second mask you can see here the animation but this part doesn't disappear so we can play with that we can also move this entire mask if we animate the mask path and move it like forward you can see the mask path keyframes the properties by pressing M and you can see there just the mask path let's double click this mask and let's move it like over here this is this keyframes with F9 and let's see and you can see there you can make a lot of animation with these little masks so for now we are going to delete this and let's keep this in add so you can see there we can make a lot of reveals i'm gonna make another one i'm gonna create a solid layer with ctrl y and i'm gonna call this solid i'm gonna make this this color orange and we can also make like transitions so for example i have this solid mask and let's grab the pen tool i'm gonna make a mask in this solid layer the same shape of my logo so i'm gonna hide this a little bit to drag a mask so i'm gonna drag the mask something like this the same shape of my logo make sure the solid layer is still selected and now we can show the solid layer and here you can see we have the solid layer in this shape and now if you press m two times you can see all the mask properties so press m two times and here i'm gonna select this to subtract so i want this to go from really small to really big so make sure this is to subtract make a different here to mask path grab this mask by double clicking in it and make this really big by holding shift and control like this and now go to the beginning here grab the whole mask with double click Control shift and make this really small and even smaller hit enter now add a motion blur to make this animation smoother and now we can preview this transition okay now it's a kind of choppy animation we are going to fix the timing so select both keyframe this is time with f9 we need to make this move faster at the beginning and slower at the end so let's make the same graph go to the graph editor select the last keyframe and move this handle over here and now we will have this animation i'm gonna make this faster and also let me adjust here the lines because they are not straight you can use the ruler by pressing ctrl r and you have this to make sure the lines are completely straight and this line like this and you can move it out of the screen and now let's see the animation so there we have a quick transition here and a reveal for our logo i'm gonna move this layer to take more time so first we have this transition and here it will start the animation there you have it and also we can even change the shape of this mask that is revealing this logo so we can add another point with the pen tool press g and now if you go here to the line you will see that the pen tool have a plus icon hit click and you will add another point you can move so here at the end i want this mask to be something like this and now if you see in the animation it changes and also at the beginning i want this to be something like this so at the beginning it's like this and at the end it's like this so now the animation will be like this and also let's change the speed graph here go to the graph editor 
for the mask of the logo and I want this to start slow and also end slow so I'm gonna make both keyframes in the graph editor like this so this have a influence of 60 and this the same now let's see that's cool for me I'm gonna trim the work area with n so now it will only last this two seconds and that's all for today's tutorial join animation essentials in the link in the description and become a confident animator so i hope you learned something new today you can subscribe leave a like if you want and you can download this project file in the description down below and i'll see you in the next video see ya